Bonsoir, mon amigos. Welcome to the E Boys oh, podcast. Oh, bonsoir, bonsoir. Wow. bonsoir. That was yeah, suave. Well. Me and James have been practicing a little something. He's been teaching me all these languages. How's it going, guys? How's it going? We good? I'm I'm doing well. How are you, Will? I'm, I'm great, George. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, okay. you two. What's the crack? What's the crack? The apartment's what's flooded. <laughs> It's not so, even your bedroom, mate. It's his bedroom. Yeah, no, it's you, fine. You've been tweeting about it. You you've been tweeting about it. You've been, um, it's you've not been, uh, um, you've not been living off it all week. Yeah, I mean, I've literally, like, I, for the other day, right? I just walk mm-hmm. across uh, my room and I'm like, oh, it's a bit wet here. I wonder what's causing this wet. And mm. uh, there was a guy in. A, and then he realised he was pissing himself. Yeah, no. Um, and there was a guy. No hanging fruit, Jim. <laughs> And earlier in the week, there was a guy, um, he basically fixed a hole in the wall and painted it. So I was like, oh, maybe he just spilled a yeah. fuckload of water. And he pissed everywhere. Maybe he just pissed everywhere. Uh, ma- maybe he, he uh, saw my e-boy skateboard, didn't like it, and just pissed. <laughs> he didn't like us. He doesn't like our uh, Harry Potter segments on the on the e-boys podcast. Right. Well, we've started up with a really a really normal one this time. I'm glad we're <laughs> on the right yeah. fucking so, tone. Um, so yeah, um, it turned out it was a pipe leak. Um I had an engineer come in and he went, this building wasn't built properly, which is really, um, which is really uh, great to hear. And then I had the plumber come in today and he also went, yeah, this building wasn't built properly, which is also good. very good to hear from two sources. If your pipe is leaking, you should probably go see a doctor, George. Yeah, and then Ibrahim, right. Ibrahim, uh, my cleaner, even he came in and went, this place wasn't built properly. It's built different. What, what do you mean? Ibrahim knew it wasn't built properly? Because he looked at me, he was built? like, this is, it's all wrong. He was like, the, <laughs> well, what was it, George? That everyone but you has noticed is wrong. What? what because was he, the issue? I know, they went in and they were looking at the pipes and stuff, and I was like, I don't know what, where to even begin. And Ibrahim knows. Ibrahim knows his pipes. Ibrahim, Ibrahim is very knowledgeable. Clearly, James knows his pipes. Loves his pipes. That's very strange, yeah. Because George, I thought you'd been laying pipe in there all week. Yay! Yeah, I nice. fucking wish. With, with who? With who? With who? It's only you that's been in the flat. We got a new dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. That's a fucking... That's a, that's a yellow card. <laughs> what are you eating? What are you eating today? Sushi, but it's still got the bones in it. It's not very enjoyable. What? It's got the bones in it. What the fuck it? are you it's on about? Where did you order from? In the fucking... You straight out the fucking... Go on, put them on blast. <laughs> no. It's got the bones in it. No, because if I put them on blast, George, next time, they'll send it back with something way worse than it, and I don't want to deal with that. Uh, they're not watching. They're not watching. Why? Why would you order from them again if they have bones in? I mean, it was a, it was once a fish. Well, you'd hope. Yes, but they, so you expect them to take out the bones. Like you order for, you order a boneless banquet from KFC. You use such a massive fucking. Oh, like, so it's just only it, bones. Like, what bones what type of fish is it? No uh, salmon. Oh, we've got some salmon bones. Which is crazy because salmon is actually the only boneless fish. So it's very. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Well, could you imagine being boneless? You'd I don't think. Be... Yeah, no, I don't think uh, we would be human then. Uh, I think bones are an integral part of what makes a human mm. a human. You know. If there's well, any I mean, boneless if... viewers out there, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry if I offended for what you. George just, if, if George does not classify you as a human being, I'm very <laughs> yeah, you sorry. Don't count. <laughs> are there any people liking a bone? Surely there's no one out there that's boneless. <laughs> Surely not. I mean, the that's human so body would fail instantly. Yeah. If you had... like a... Yeah. Just... Well, you'd just be yeah. like a puddle. You'll be a puddle of, of organs. Flesh, yeah. Yummy, <laughs> yummy. Impossible, impossible. I don't think there is. Boneless banquet. Mm. It, send us pictures of, of boneless people if you can find them. I'm looking it up. <laughs> Do you remember that scene in Harry Potter where you want to fix his arm? <laughs> just like that constantly. Yeah. Maybe that's, you know, Colonel, Colonel Sanders went into a hospital once and saw a boneless man and went, you know what? You know what? I think actually, <laughs> that would be quite inspired. No, they just don't. Boneless people just don't exist. <laughs> Pre-Colonel Sanders, people used to eat through the bone and he came in and he changed that forever. Mm. What a hero. Oh, yeah, but also if you're boneless, you couldn't chew, could you? <laughs> 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 so you would Boneless people would not be able to enjoy a boneless banquet. And, and actually, that that is subhuman. Yeah, that is. There's, some, there's, a, there's a bit of a sweet irony there, really. <laughs> Along with the, the vegetarians and vegans there. that also Welcome can't enjoy a podcast. boneless banquet. We should, have, we should have brought this when Stephen was on. <laughs> we should have brought a lot of things yeah, they, when they, Stephen they, was on. <laughs> these were the topics that we were missing. Yeah, uh, we anyway, 
<laughs> All right, let's oh. do nutty news. Thank you, mate. News. Thank you. Okay, this one, I've got to be honest, uh, we've, we've got a belter. We've got, we're starting off with a belter. This week, a boy has almost died. Yeah! yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, when, when he swallowed 54 <laughs> magnets no, to wait. see if he could be... You guys, <laughs> George's microphone cut out, <laughs> but I just heard him <laughs> scream and <laughs> cheer from the. I heard it through the wall. I actually heard it through your, <laughs> your mic, through your mic, but not George's. What's the matter? What's the matter, George? I cheered. He <laughs> cheered, oh. but Discord, Discord cut it out. Oh, that's horrific. Oh, right, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, so a boy has almost died this week when he swallowed 54 magnets to see if he could become magnetic, right? Look at his stupid, <laughs> look at it, look at his stupid da, little face. Da, 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 da. It's a smart theory, did it work? Because surely, I, I, no, 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 surely things must have been like magnetized to his stomach. I don't think he swallowed enough. Like when you look at what, how much we should have swallowed, swallowed more a lot. Fucking idiot! Uh, he would have died if he hadn't. Look at his stupid face. It's the magnet. His... <laughs> Mate, those are, those are some of the least powerful magnets money can buy you. <laughs> What's he doing? Like fucking yeah. swallow some some so, high quality industrial magnets if you're gonna do it. Magnet origin story. Riley Morrison, twelve, swallowed fifty four magnetic balls to see if he could get metal to stick to him. He swallowed one batch on January the first, and then a second batch three days later. Smart. When they failed when they failed to pass through his system, Riley woke up his mum at two AM and told her that he accidentally swallowed two. I accidentally swallowed sixty magnets. <laughs> It's just so silly, but he's a child, and that's what kids do. He also thought it would be really fun to see it come out the other end. <laughs> what a fucking idiot! Well, now he'll see it come out of his own fucking stomach, and he'll have a scar for the rest of his life. Yeah, that's he had just kids. He had six hours of life-threatening surgery, but he he made it. So shout out Riley, uh, if you. <laughs> you know, I imagine, I imagine just one of those comedically big cartoon magnets. <laughs> like the horse and they're just you going want. like that up and down it trying to get him out. <laughs> oh, fuck oh. Thing. The thing it's is, like, this left. is actually an example of like the how far modern medicine has come. But that is so disappointing that modern medicine has had to come this far just to save mm. humans from being absolute dipshits. <laughs> he is twelve, James. You can't say you've ne you never swallowed 60 magnets when you're 12. I think that's acceptable if you're like six or seven. Yeah. You'll be doing that when you're 12. You, you must know better there, right? Yeah. No, I reckon that's something I do. Uh, yeah, but that's you though. Like you've got that mentality now. What's the worst thing you swallowed when you were 12? Me, uncle. Nuts. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, moving, <laughs> move, moving on. Uh, there's a cow, right? How? There's how a cow. It, Whoa! There was a cow, right? Please tell me more. One day I'll get through one of the titles. <laughs> one day I'll actually be able to read a headline. One day. Um. All right. So All right, old MacDonald. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, sick and tired, bro. I'm sick and tired. <laughs> All right. So a cow named after a Spice Girl has sold for a record sum this week, right? Fucking expensive cow. Not too expensive. How expensive do you think this cow is? But like, don't go daft, right? Let's not ruin it. I, I don't <laughs> know what how the guy great for a cow is, is, to be honest, Will. <laughs> what is an average cow? What is the cost of an average cow? I, I, exactly, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Price is, price is right. Price is right. World's most expensive I cow. Think... I'll give you a bit more. Oh, go on. I think a cow costs about five grand on average. That's my guess. Let me give you a bit more detail before you guess, right? All right. Uh, breeder Christine Williams said the sale was akin to wi winning the lottery and described the sum as mind blowing. She uh, she said the animal, the record price recognized the smart and stylish animal had a lot of panache and X factor. Can I see a picture of the cow? Wait, wait. I, I've got. I think I know how much it went for. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Let me, uh, let me oh. show a picture of the cow. Was it, was it? I'll be able to gauge my Guys? guess from this image. Oh, I let James do his funny bit. Was it calf a million? <laughs> Moo. <laughs> 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 I'm giving up on uh, this podcast so soon. I've... We're looking for sponsors, uh, by the way. So <laughs> please get in touch. We will sh oh. we will shill cows for people. Here's the cow. <laughs> that's an ugly it's a fucking, fucking cow. ugly cow, you, right? Yeah, imagine, right, because that's obviously made the news. Imagine being the Spice Girl that that cow was named after. Oh, Who do you think it was? 
Well, I don't know the names of the Spice Girls. I'm going to say Victoria Beckham. Bang on! Five points for Is you, Is that fella. his name, Victoria Beckham? The, the cow's called Willodge Posh Spice. Oh, I'm oh, going to guess. God. Okay, I've got a guess. I'm going to say 25 grand. <laughs> All right. Other two. I think we're getting closer to 75 Gs. And Mr. Elmsley. It can't be that expensive, man. It's going to be like 15 grand. 262,000 Great British Pounds what? for that cow. It's not even that good looking What's a cow. What no. the fuck not, is not that, that cow going to do? Find cows good looking. How is that, how is that going to make a return make on their investment? That is a good point. What was it? Was it like... Is it like a status symbol? Like, it wasn't even like a Wagyu cow. Yeah, a Wagyu cow. Say, hypothetically, you had sex with it. Could you then say you've had sex with Posh Spice? I guess you could. Uh, <laughs> no, you couldn't. No, yeah, I mean, this name is... Yeah. Posh spice. Posh spice? No. Yeah. It's official, official. Well, you could say that, but you would also that... be saying it for a prison cell. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Williams told BBC News the mother was her mother was phenomenal. She also <laughs> knew that the cow would be popular as soon as she was born. Williams added, "I fell in love with her as soon as I saw it." Uh, although now, this is on a website called FemaleFirst.co.uk. What? Sorry, not that there's. Anything wrong with a woman only yeah, media? Oh, right. this, oh, is, right. this is why women Diggy don't Diggy women blast. Diggy hole. <laughs> I'm just, it doesn't look like a real website. I think we might have been bamboozled here. Okay. Uh, the, the main categories of this media site is horoscopes um, and TV and soaps. So, it sounds bloody quite women, a bloody women. source. Um, do they have any tips on the stock market? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, but you can. Uh, ooh, we've got. No, 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 no. Oh man, that's so strange that a cow could go for that amount of money. Mm. Like, uh, and then oh, go on, sorry. No, I'm just I'm perplexed just by it. Still baffled by it. Perplexed it's, by it. Like, like that's like you get two Lambos for that cow, but yeah, you couldn't fuck a Lambo. How mad is that? You could have couldn't if somebody said to you, you could have a you really milk cool a Lambo. Cow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, milk. I said milk. I said milk. That must be some great fucking milk, like. Imagine you, like, you would have to suckle on that teat on a daily basis to make that worth it. Hang on, I'm going to see how much the average cow is worth. How <laughs> it can't be worth it. Five grand, I thought, was steep. I think we're already showing. What kind show. of person spends that amount of money on a cow, though? You'd have to be a special type of wrong to buy a cow for 275k. Yeah. Somebody with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. got to think is how much more. Do they have as like a zoo, an assortment of animals? They're like a few hundred, apparently. Cows. They're a few hundred. Yeah, I think I, be, I think I might have been rustled on this. Yeah, week's you might news. Have been. I think I might, might have been. been. But it's a good story, so we'll just roll with it, right? Funny yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, that's how it always. That's how we do it. Here. It's a fucking ugly cow. Don't let's not get the truth get let, let's not let the truth get in the way, right? Uh, third, third story, third and last story of nutty news is nowhere near as good as the first two. Uh, a, a man has just been a man has been reunited with his. Go on. I heard your laugh. You could fuck yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. You could fuck off. <laughs> Do you know the pressure? The pressure I feel. <laughs> reading out a sentence. Three sentences an episode. So really I know if I made one fucking mistake. <laughs> but everyone on is the sticks. All right. A man's been reunited with a wallet he lost in Antarctica 53 years ago. Oh, that's interesting. It's not yeah, nutty, but uh, it's quite interesting. Yeah, were you about to say? Were you about to stay, say that the stakes are high? Stay, I was about to stay, well, clearly stay they're 275 grand. What? You the stakes are high. Wait, shut. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. There All right. Um, let Cheers. me just get this out the fucking way so we can get on and get this over with. <laughs> Paul Grisham has been reunited with a wallet he lost in Antarctica while serving the U.S. Navy since the 1960s. Uh, some family gave it back to him, found it in, uh, in Antarctica. Wasn't that good? Antarctica. Why would you bring your wallet to Antarctica though? Like, what are you buying there? You're not going to a corner shop. Buy some igloos. Condom machine. <laughs> what? Yeah, got nothing. Got entry nothing. to entry to a club. Oh, you got to pay in cash for that. What type of club would that be? Take your ID. You gotta, you you gotta, you gotta uh, compliment people's ice while you're in there. Shut up, James. <laughs> God, I'm so, shut I'm the fuck up. James. I'm in such a weird mood. I'm just gonna shut up. For you're the rest just of this a weird podcast. person, but <laughs> it's been a, it's strange. I don't know what's going on. What's happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this pod. We've got loads of fucking topics. We do. Um, so Finally. an explanation as to why we've we've hired our guardian angel uh, called uh, an assistant called Orla. She's brilliant and she's 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 got everything for this episode. So this might actually be quite a long one. Oh. You think? Ooh. Or we, can we can we not be asked? No, I can oh, be I asked. Can. Okay. 
Uh, I've been. I've. I want to talk about fucking Lil Uzi's forehead diamond. Have we seen this? Oh. Oh, mate. Fucking elite. Elite. Didn't he have to get it taken out because he might die? No, no, no. That was just as someone added like a Snapchat meme across the bottom. Oh, right. So for those that don't know, Lil Uzi this week. No, he tweeted got out. Eight... He tweeted out. Uh. So I remember I replied to the tweet. Go on, link it, link it, link it. Hey, wait, wait. He deleted it, but he tweeted out because I remember I replied. Might have been a meme. Um, so for those that don't know anyway, uh, Lil Uzi this week got a $24 million pink diamond, literally like mounted in between his eyebrows, cost $24 million fucking dollars. And I think like all the rappers got fucking jewelry watches, whatever. Mm. No one's got a fucking forehead stone. It's like some stuff an anime, man. Apparently, it's it's, it costs like so vision. much. He... It's vision from the fucking Avengers. That's what it is. Yeah, you would get you get just memes the hell out of though, wouldn't you? Because it's just like because it is like vision. It's the fucking. You'd have to roll with hella security though, like at all times. Yeah, like that's gonna twenty four million, but it's gonna cost him fuck loads after. Apparently, he's been paying for it. Even he's had been paying for it since twenty seventeen. It cost that much. He's got his forehead diamond on finance. Okay. And look, I just put it in the chat. He he had to get it taken out, apparently. What, just... what happens if you don't fully pay for it? <laughs> Do they like come and surgically remove it from your head oh. against your will? <laughs> the bailiffs come. I don't know. I don't think he's had it taken out. I think when it comes out, it'll have to be the right way. Yeah. That's oh my god. That whole that is mental. It's dystopian almost. It's cool though. It's pretty. It's sick. cool. Would you get a would you get a diamond a forehead diamond? Yeah. I wouldn't. If I if I had twenty well not. Mm, not not a twenty four million one. But I don't. I think you'd look really you out of place with a off? forehead diamond. Well, no. <laughs> Better rose quartz in my skull. I could do that. I think I if think you had face on tattoos, my pale it... skin, it wouldn't. Yeah, on my pale skin, it would look a bit daft. Maybe like a sapphire mm. would look something sapphire a bit darker to stand out. Yeah, we could get like fuck. We could get one each, like ruby, emerald, sapphire. A yellow one for the e boys. What's the other one? I don't. I've run out of Pokemon games at this point. Ja Jasmine, isn't it? Isn't it? Yellow's Jasmine. I swear. Oh, you'd be pissed if you got stuck with fucking Jasmine or like yeah. op Opal or fucking Jade when everyone else has got diamonds and sapphire. <laughs> yeah. No, Would no, be... I think diamond is the one, isn't it? Mm. Brass. What are we thinking though? What's the, what's the opinion? Do we rate it or do we not rate it? Just get the E-Boy seal of approval. I don't I don't rate it, I'm afraid. I think really? it's... Really? Yeah. Apparently he copied somebody to get that as well. Like oh, really? Oh, one. girl, I'm so angry. Like, I am. I thought that was his... I thought he'd like... It was just, if it was you came up with that, relative respect. Yeah. But if you've nabbed it off somebody else, so I'm, you, you're one of two people with a gem in their forehead. To be fair, there are probably more people that are going to be doing it after him. Yeah. We are definitely like, have you seen the people that in, I think it's, is it South Korea? There's like a huge um, cosmetic surgery boom there. And there's always like things that are in fashion. I think there was one which was like a donut on your forehead. For quite oh, a yeah. while. Yeah. A donut. So I think it's gonna gross. it's definitely gonna become more commonplace because it's becoming cheaper to get cosmetic surgery done. Oh, yeah, Even only like twenty five million for his uh, his forehead diamonds, you know. Yeah, but like on a level though, like it's so much you like compared over the last twenty years, it's so much cheaper now to get shit done. It just so happens that diamond cost twenty four million. If you got like fucking loads of gravel or something across your forehead, you'd yeah. be a lethal fucking weapon. Like yeah. someone mm. stepped in and just plant a uh, plant a nut on them, they'd know about that. Oh, yeah. But then also, if you had gravel on your head and you nutted someone, the gravel would also just go closer into your skull, surely. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. But it's already in your skull. I mean, so okay. Every yeah. headbutt comes <laughs> at a cost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good. Maybe it would add like extra protection if you got punched. Mm. Like, you wouldn't punch a man with a gravel jaw. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Unless you were feeling dangerous. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted to feel something. You'd have to be, yeah, but you'd have a nutty day. Would you punch the gravel man? <laughs> I would I would not punch the gravel man. I would not dare punch the gravel man. <laughs> Will, can you explain how you got yourself locked out of your, your new flat? Oh, it... yeah, right. Okay, so for context, I, I got a place in Newcastle this weekend, right? And I got there. Unlucky. I got the keys off the agent. I get there. I, I forgot the key. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> Alex went unlucky when you said you I got a flat. Well, they give it away, well, it's got it. Newcastle's got to be clear of New Milton. What the fuck's going on in New Milton? I've lived in both places, to be fair. You've not lived in Newcastle. You've lived, lived in the in slums of Durham. Yeah. You've, that doesn't fucking count. Right, the same. That doesn't fucking it's count. That's like saying you've lived in fucking... Where's near London, but not in London? Um, fucking... 
Smedic Birmingham. <laughs> <Darum. laughs> what was so great about Milton for there to be a new one as well? Because I've never heard of Milton. Where's old Milton? Uh, it's literally around the corner from new, new Milton. All oh, right. Right, okay. You'd kind of expect that really though, wouldn't you? No, yeah, because no. New, New York. I mean, well, it's probably next to old. York. Well, it's not next to York here, is it? Like, yeah. no, but it's not an old York in America. Yeah, but that's just... no, no. But we, they nicked all our names, didn't they? Because yeah. they, yeah. they just they their country's England. fucking new. Yeah, their country shit, man. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were saying you were saying well about your story before sorry, Alex very on. rudely interrupted. Sorry. Uh, oh, basically, the last tenants had like fucking seven sets of keys. So I get in there, put some stuff down. I'm like, all right, go at the car, get me back out. I'm like, I'll take a set of keys. Surely every set of keys has the most important key, the front fucking door key. Door shuts behind us. I go upstairs. It's, just not, it's got six six or seven keys on this set of keys. Not the ones the front one. I get a fucking locksmith round. No, sorry. No, not a hugely interesting story, but it did piss me off. I can imagine. It looks nice, though. I liked your Thank flat you. tour. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. I liked the wood beams. I thought the wood details. Thank you. Um, uh, that was that uh, was that was had nothing to do. Thank you. That had nothing to do with trying to boost my story uh, views on it, whilst also promoting a CPM, a CPM brand deal on my story. Deal. There's that. There is no particular reason I posted twenty Instagram stories that day. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> why did why does everybody get their I places? I fell for it. I was interacting. Why does everybody get their places unfurnished? So what, what did you say? Why does everybody do that? Get hmm? places unfurnished. I never understand that. Well, I love. I lo honestly, if I'm being every time I get somewhere unfurnished and there is no furniture in it, I love it because it feels like well, yeah. Because that's what you paid for. If you got somewhere unfurnished and there was furnished furniture, then you'd be pissed. Well, no, because then the it'd dream. be your furniture, wouldn't it? You could do whatever you wanted with it. You could sell it. You see, I'm a minimalist. I don't like owning many things. So, uh... are you chatting shit? <laughs> well, see, that's <laughs> the thing. Shit. If if you're unfurnished, and like, for example, Will, you showed your mattress on the floor. I yep. swear to God, whenever I just had a mattress on the floor, I've loved it. I don't know why. I just have like yeah. it feels like a bit more. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I actually kind of agree with that. It's I find it quite easy to sleep on the floor. Yeah, mm. it feels just more kind of like. You're getting by and you're just doing shit. I don't know. I I, I yeah. really like it. And I'm, I quite I quite want to move again. Did you sleep on a mattress much in Buckinghamshire, James? <laughs> <laughs> no, did you do that in boarding school? But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> the point is, like, because uh, I've moved a lot over the last year, I'm now wanting to move again because you, you get used you to it. Three have all but moved. You get at used some to point, moving yeah. as well. It becomes like a habit. No, I hate it. I hate moving. It gets worse every time. Like once every six months I've been moving at this rate and it's been six months now and counting. So I'm kind of just sat here twiddling my thumbs. That is, man, that is mad. You've moved You've moved so much actually, quite a lot. Mm. Um, been stuck in this same bastard building for what, five, four, four yeah, years now? Building. Have I, I've lived in, in the mighty, in the mighty, in the mighty proton tower. <laughs> <laughs> yep, well, whoever <laughs> lives there is going to have a good day. Will, are you move? I, I want to ask Will, are you going to move like in London soon? Yes, I mean, I, my tenancy runs out April Mayish time. Are you gonna live still live near us? Uh, I'm thinking Shoreditch. I think I'm gonna move central. Mm. I quite like that idea, to be honest. That's I think mean, that's mm. the next wave is moving further out of London mm. until you leave. <laughs> no, Shoreditch is central. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to. We, we've started at the back or the front, depending. What... He's going. To, he's on his way to the train station, and then he's just <laughs> ah, gonna slowly move it. up to like Milton Keynes. And then... But, oh, Solly fuck hole. That. Oh, fuck, fuck that. that. Oh, God. oh, God. It's like living in a in a plastic container. Why would you want to live in Milton Keynes? Uh, yeah. There's too many roundabouts. It's such a, it's such an, it, it, like an artificial, artificial city. It just kind of was made. Is it one of those that were made in like the 60s? Yeah. It's very, yeah I'm pretty sure right. it's very recent. Yeah. Very recent. It just doesn't feel like, it doesn't have much character to it because it's clearly just been put there for a purpose, you know? It's like Stevenage. Stevenage was built in the 60s from nothing. Not many places in the South have much character. Yeah. Like, they're nice, but you've got you've almost got to be a shithole to have something about you. Yeah. I don't know, in Buckinghamshire, there were, I, I, I mean, oh, there's okay. loads of character about Buckingham. The fucking <laughs> slam dunk that fellow. I don't know why you opened your mouth. Yeah, and no, I realised like <laughs> halfway through the word Buckinghamshire that I was going to regret that. But re regardless, there is like quite a not. Like, nice what, 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 what type of character, what persona is Buckinghamshire teach me? I mean, it's me. very like countrysidey. And then as soon as they started saying that they were going to put the HS2 through it, I think it just went tits up and, and then I left. Are they going to? Are they going to do that? No, I, I, God knows, mate. That's meant to be. Ha that was happening. 15 years ago, God knows if it's still happening. I can't believe you're gonna leave like 
when because surely we're approaching the year where we finally get the tube line to Roxy. Surely, surely we're nearly there. <laughs> They've promised that for so long. Yeah, yeah. Will, Will definitely was waiting yeah, for that Will, one. On. You're 22. You're gonna have to give it up soon, Roxy. <laughs> you predator. Oh no, I'm 22 now. So I I passed my sell by date now. So. God, could you imagine being in a club? We were talking about this the other day, actually, weren't we, James? Clubbing. Yeah. We said we got to the point in lockdown where we missed clubbing. And what did you... what was the first thing I missed? I, I genuinely miss it. Yeah, I genuinely miss it a lot. Like, I, I, it will be a while before I'm even comfortable going back and doing it. But when I am comfortable with it, I'm going to get fucking blitzed. If you, if you get the vaccine, will you be sound with it? Yes. You got a yeah, all right. If we go around vaccinating other people. No, but that, that's the thing. It's like, oh, God knows when we're going to get the fucking vaccine. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, all right. De- depressing COVID talk. I've been, something I've been wanting to watch with you all fucking week is this parish church. I haven't watched this Zoom oh, meeting. It's so good. Yeah, I've watched it. Yeah, I've watched it. I've watched tiny little bits and I thought this is a, this is a big old bit of E Boys. Um, so, James, you want to share screen? Yeah. I haven't watched this yet. I've just been. I just. So. I, you must have seen it. We assume you've seen it. There is. I've been, seen clips. Correct me if I'm sorry. I was talking to, to these. All right. Uh, um, so the the gist is there's a parish council meeting, that, and I think there's a bunch of old people trying to use iPads to determine who's going to be the next leader of it. I think they were is just that right? having a I think, I don't know. meeting. No, it was just that it's their first council meeting since March, and they basically have the the the. the I think it's their chancellor or the, whoever like the heads the council. They a lot of people disagree with them. Right. That's the okay. that's, that's the general. That's gist. my context. All right, okay, come on then. Me, come on me, then, fella. Let's have a watch. Uh let me do I need to record my screen? Probably not. How was this live stream? It was. Uh, they they every like ca- uh, council meeting is is um is basically I'm pretty sure they have to save them for legal reasons. No, but who the fuck is watching a council meeting stream? Somebody who probably I, I, mean, it, I think some people really care about the outcome of this discussion discussion. There can't be many, but those who do care seem to really fucking care. I mean, I'm invested care. now, to be honest. Okay, let me That's uh, so good. share this with you boys. Okay, you ready? You've been added yeah. to the Zoom yeah. call, but you will not be granted the rank uh, of Chancellor. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to start the meeting, Chairman. Can we be assured that we won't be thrown out of the meeting like we were last time? Um, I like the way it kind of cuts to Jackie Weaver and it looks like a title sequence, but it's just Zoom. I just think it's like really It's well like, um, you know, Darth Sidious, where he doesn't show his face. It's like that. You know he's there. Mm. The fabled Jackie yeah, Weaver. You know he's there, but it, you can't see him. Let's watch it. Um, I, I, as long as we have reasonable behaviour from everyone, no one would be excluded from the meeting. I, w- I, was, I was thrown out of the meeting. <laughs> Uh, so it was Hey! Uh, Barry has James! Oh, <laughs> Could we start the meeting? We haven't started Julie's the meeting iPads. yet. Do you want to speak anyway? Yes, I'd like to uh, ask a point of order. I mean... John what Smith, he's made that up. So he's made up his name. When's it started yet? No? Points of order apply during the debate. And I want to ask... Jackie, was it you who quoted a point of order? Yes, it was indeed. Are you are you here as the proper officer? I am here offering support to Hamforth Parish Council in the conduct of this meeting this evening. You're not the proper officer. Is that as Clark? <laughs> the whisper of you're not the proper yes, officer in the background. <laughs> no, that guy's amazing. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. You must know the basic law. Are we going I would have to, thought. Are we going to start this meeting? It, 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 isn't, it isn't the role of somebody who, however kindly, volunteers to do the clerking for a meeting to act as a proper officer if they haven't so been appointed. That's okay. against the law. Been called by and, two. And, and let me also quote to you the yes, standing you orders of Hanforth. But will you stop talking? <laughs> oh. <laughs> will you please listen? This is us negotiating the e boys shares. Listen, will you stop being whatever it is you're trying to be and just clerk the meeting if that's what you want to do. We'll start the we'll start the meeting and I want to repeat what I said at the beginning of the last meeting that this meeting has not been called according to the law. 
Lord Will Wimbledon. Will you please let oh, this... Oh, there she is. Mrs. Weaver, please. Mrs. Weaver! Just rock this meeting. He's <laughs> livid. <laughs> that man is livid. It's only the chairman who can remove <laughs> people from a meeting. You have no authority here, Jackie. You have no, no power <laughs> here, Jackie Weaver. She just kicked him out. <laughs> she just kicked him out. No, she just kicked him out. <laughs> don't, don't. She just kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. And they now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. <laughs> Standing <laughs> orders. Read them and understand them. Appalling <laughs> <laughs> behaviour. Um, German gone. A copy, of this, I... a copy of this will, in fact, be sent to the monitoring office. Well, well, yeah, well, I hope so. <laughs> Out of those people, where's the chairman? <laughs> Poor Barry. Barry <laughs> How many? Where's the chairman gone? This guy's amazing. <laughs> like to elect a chairman for this meeting. You don't have to elect a chairman. There's a chairman already installed. The chairman of the council. Councillor Burkle, we've been through this. <laughs> you don't, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to subpoena everybody. <laughs> uh, Burkle, could I ask you to be... Who's to be that? Where did she know. come from? <laughs> <laughs> These people are meant to. This guy's amazing. Here comes the subpoena. Why are you shouting? Chairman. Just you go and help them. She's kicked Barry out, so I'm leaving. Don't kick Barry out. Barry has gone. My precious. We're trying to have a teams meeting, you fool. We can't if you've got that. He's livid. What are they trying to discuss? This new the chairman. Times. <laughs> Ducky Weaver, I find that uh, the person on Alec Brewerton's uh, Zoom is being very disrespectful to everybody. Oh, coming from you from Birkenhead, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank God for that. Lord, elect a chairman for the meeting. Yes, Ducky. Can I propose John Smith, please? Okay. My, my, my first point is to apologise to Jackie for Welcome to Handforth. That is... Welcome to Handforth. told them truly something. Elite, big up the oldies. You've got no authority here, Jackie Weaver. Get fucked. None at all. Absolutely none at all. Ugh. You, know, you know Matty Healy's from Handforth. Oh, that says it all, really. I don't know where Hamforth is. Where's where Hamforth? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Should we go? Should we fucking search for Big Jack. E, e boys go to Hamforth. That uh, sounds like 50k views. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me and, up. And we might accidentally give COVID to some pensioners in the process. So there you go. Get in. That's what we're all about here on the E boys channel. Oh wait, look, wait. It's a, we're. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to make that joke. We're going to move uh, on. Well, <laughs> don't worry. What's the joke? <laughs> What's but the just so the weather says that it's wind northeast, and that says wind ne. So I was going to make a joke, but there's not. It's not no, funny. It's not, Let's move on. Neither is anything on this podcast ever. So. Right, fucking okay. Um, Elon Musk put like a fucking billion into Bitcoin. Fuck! I fucking there's nothing more than I hate than fucking crypto FOMO. It's either yeah. it's like, am I going to lose? Everything I put in, like in 2017, or are we missing out on the investment opportunity of a lifetime? What's going to happen? I don't fucking know. And I know if I do one, it'll be the other. Yeah, that's yeah. my theory. Do you want to know something interesting? Come on, George. Something interesting is, I was talking to I was talking to Erling, uh, you know, Atozi. He, 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 he believes Bitcoin will go up to a couple million. And I was talking to him about it. And then I was like, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to look into why people think that Bitcoin is going to be worth that much. Because at the moment, I just see it as something that you use to buy drugs online. I don't really see mm. much mm. use for Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, um, no value. No, but the thing is, people see it as like a good like source of store of value. Like, you know, gold. Mm. No one uses mm. gold for anything, mm. but it's worth good a value. lot. But yeah. we, And it's the same thing with Bitcoin. People will just use it as a good store of money. That'll be its purpose. That's why people think it will go up to like half a million a coin. 
That's really strange. So yeah, that, that's. I mean, we got a lot of people who invested in it now, but I can't. I've already explained why I don't do it because of the fact that I didn't do it back when Mr. Beast told me to, and now I will never do it ever because I missed that boat, and now that's it. I can't hmm. do it now because he. It's always that thought of like, I could have been a millionaire if I just did it then. So why should I bother doing it now when that is not going to happen? I think that's like, but that's why it's important to like look at smaller cryptocurrency because if you are gonna if you do want to try and make money on it you're better off looking at the technologies of the smaller ones alt season yeah no no you're gonna lose fuck loads of money on alts i did there's apparently i was i was getting taught about one called mushroom this week so let's let's all buy mushroom e-boys <laughs> Mush- the Co- mushroom. i've made fuck i've made coin. i've gone. made bank off dogecoin i made like How be- probably about 500 quid and I only, uh, maybe a bit more, and I've only put well, a couple. Like, yeah. Wait, you I, I sold? Like, you didn't no, hold the line? You didn't I'm, hodl? I'm, you didn't hodl? No, I, I'm hodling. I'm hodling. I'm holding until it, I'm, I oh, reckon right. it could go much higher. But I've made like probably like five, six hundred quid so far. Put more in, put more in. I reckon. Nah, put, yeah, yeah. put, the whole, put the whole bank account in, mate. I bought some Bitcoin the other day, actually. Um, right. And it's increased like 200 quid in value since. So. You bought a snake yet? You what? You bought I've a not snake bought a snake, yet. no. <laughs> You should get one of those, like. All right. Yeah, that's actually how yeah. the pipes went went bad. The snake was just like wheedling its way the, through the pipes and. Like the basilisk. Right. Yeah. Like the basilisk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Nice. right nice like. Would you fuck the basilisk? No. no stop it. <laughs> Fucking stop it. Talking about money. Uh, I feel all like throwing a... a hot dog down a hallway. Sorry, man. Go on. Let's try it. Go out here. You just drag me back. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Talking about money. Uh, all I found a. It was. I think it's like a Reddit based around this one question. Uh, which I thought was quite could spark quite an interesting debate. So uh, pretend, Alex, right? You put all your money into crypto when Mr. Beast and Dave told you to, right? And you had a billion dollars, right? But someone came down and was like, Mr. Elmsley, right? This billion dollars, you can only spend 1% of it on yourself. What do you then spend the rest of the 99% on? Um, If you had a billion dollars and like actually a billion dollars... um. Number one, I'd probably just fucking sort out all of my mates. I just buy them whatever they needed. Oh, he's gone. Can you hear? He's gone. Cut out. Sorry. What did you say? Hello. Sorry. Am I back? Your mates. Oh, sorry. I said first of all, I'd sort Hello. out all my mates. Um, is it working? It's fine. Um, I would yeah. sort out all my mates, and by that, I don't mean I'd. I don't mean I'd. I'd help them. I mean I'd hire a bounty hunter to kill everyone I know. That's the first thing I do. <laughs> um, then oh, right. I would. Surely that would come out of your share, though. Well, it's technically you could. Because that that'd be something for you. Uh, you spend well, it on I your get, own I, needs. Well, yeah, I selfish, get no selfish. joy out of it. All right, but it has to well, be why done. Why are you doing it? Well, it has to be done. It has to be done. <laughs> okay, okay, so, okay. It's for the greater good. Uh, well, if I can I buy nukes? No, because that's my money. I can't buy nukes. Yeah, you got other people, Alex. I give all my money to Will. To do you everything could buy for nukes me. for dying children, and then I'd and then I'd use my money. Oh, we can put it on roulette, fellow. We, we put, put it on roulette. roulette. We get two and billion yeah, dollars. We put it on red. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. With the rest of the money, we put it on roulette. <laughs> That's it. So many peers, those George Pretty James video. I think I'd um. So what I'd do is buy an island, create a baby farm, and then invite all my celebrity buddies to come and drink their blood. Yeah. What? Get in. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so you're left with 990 million, right? Yep, good maths. Your maths is on point. How much are Freddos these days? <laughs> how many Freddos? <laughs> biggest, world's biggest Freddo. How many, how many Dogecoin? How many Dogecoin? Moon. How many Dogecoin is Freddos? 25p. Let's say 25p. That's about four ish billion Freddos. Yeah. yeah I would buy four billion Freddos and give them to the starving. Nice. Right, so you solve world hunger, you're desperate. You know? with, with chocolate, I don't think yeah. you're doing that, mate. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, if you're starving, are you really gonna complain if you get free Freddos? You know, like it can kill people if you give them like food like that. What too many Freddos? No one's ever died <laughs> from a Freddo. It, it, exactly, he never hurt anyone. He's just a nice little frog. I would tell a story where people have died eating chocolate after it was given to them, but it was really dark, and I don't want to bring that up on the podcast. Did it happen at your school, Alex? No, it happened. What well, was it? Ninety nine percent. World War Two. And it's probably best not being mentioned. Oh well, yeah. Well, obviously that one. But that was <laughs> that really one. For ages. Fuck it, fell off the chair. <laughs> Jesus Christ. When they, uh, yeah. No one got my joke. What was what? your? Jo- Alex went. 
it's it was it's a really it's really dark and i went what was it 99 percent alex hold the line alex hold the line right we're not bound to this <laughs> shit we don't encourage this fucking sorry. behavior sorry <laughs> sorry oh it's horrible i don't know it gets away with it to be honest I'm trying to. Well, what would what? Could, I just don't think you could even comprehend that amount of money if it was it's a lot of money. Of it's a lot mm-hmm. of money. Yeah, surely you. Sort I mean, I struggled to spend the two and a half grand for the Secret Santa video, let alone a billion. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you you put effort into it. That's why it was hard. I'm sure those two yeah. found it very easy. <laughs> no, I actually fought for ages. I fought for <laughs> ages about my stuff on the quantity of Garfield <laughs> Blu-rays. Yeah, it was well thought out. I tried. I, tr- I wanted to spend really whole- value out of it. I wanted to spend half the budget on Garfield DVDs. I think I had like 400 ready to go, uh, but it would have taken like a month to ship out. So I didn't in the end. God, that's nice though. That's what saved everyone. Yeah. Wait, everyone, me. That's, that's it. I would have been the only one who suffered yeah, well, from I that. I didn't really. That. I didn't yeah. help George out. Much, yeah, you got, so you, got, I, you, got, like, you got. People got angry at me no. for what I got you. Yeah, so they should. No, that's horrible. I did nothing wrong. You mean by yeah, by people got angry. You mean George? Yeah, he was the main one. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that was still one of the. Strangers. I don't think I've kept anything you gave me except the TV. Um. Oh yeah, I found a pack of Pokemon cards here from the shoot the other day. Oh, did you? Oh, what? Just, uh, yeah. What? 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 what, what? I bought them. Oh. Remember? Yeah, uh, you got no, I got. I got. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I I, I know I've told you, but you haven't told everyone else though. Yeah, oh, this is wait, good. What she bought? Is this gay Pikachu? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, it's in his drawer. How sweet. Locked away. Locked away next. in a drawer somewhere. Well, you need to know if, if, if you want to find Will's 500. Next time I'm That's around, profit. Will's, I'm That's fucking profit. That, that card's worth like 500 quid. That's mental. That's so sick. Are you going to send it into like PSA? I'm not sure. It can't be asked. But, but uh, it's not going to fucking. Yeah, hey, look at that. Uh, yeah, I got my big, big, big gay, That's big gay so Pikachu. Cool, man. Let's I go. We take them. It's such a good card. Such a good card. How much? How much, odds on you bending it? No. Well, well it'd just be a waste. No, no but odds on. I beg you, don't. No. That'll make me sad. George, I think you would rather cut off your left testicle than bend that Pokemon card if it was yours. Yeah, you cried when I fucking ripped your card. Then we don't need to let the audience know. <laughs> Devastating. It was upsetting, to be honest. Fifty quid card won it down the drain. It was. Yeah. It's really upsetting. We should all... Uh... Yeah, cool card. Cool card. Yeah, what was the best Yu-Gi-Oh card you got? Did you ever get, like, fucking Blue Eyes or some shit? Uh, yeah, we got some Blue Eyes ones. There was one, The most valuable one was actually, like, a trap card, and it was worth, like, 30 quid or something. Was it a Dark Magician? Yeah. They don't really hold value. Was it a Dark... Huh? No, no, no. It's just a... It's dark Magician is a trap card, you fucking moron. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, mate, because I'm 22. You build Lego. Yeah. You do everything else <laughs> a six-year-old yeah, yeah. does. <laughs> right, just because this is the one thing yeah, you don't do. Oh, that's quite... Is this the Harry uh, uh, Hogwarts? Yeah, this is, this is, uh, well, no, they got lightsabers. Like, they got lightsabers. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I've never seen in Hogwarts when Darth Vader comes in and fucks Harry Potter up. <laughs> crazy one. It's very strange when Darth Vader said he was his father because I thought Harry Potter's father was dead, but I must be misremembering. Oh man, I can't believe. Uh, on the oh, on. Say, oh, uh, did you um, do you see that uh, there's going to be a new uh, Harry Potter TV series? Yes. Is this no, a joke? There is going to be one. There is going to be a game and a new TV series, which means new monsters. 2021 is going to be oh, the yes. fucking yeah. greatest year for the e Voice podcast. It's going to be so good. Every yeah. week, sat there yeah. trying to figure out. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a TV show, Fantastic Beasts of Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> the spin off we've all been wanting. We need to get away from it. Oh, God. <laughs> We've been we've been um, talking about getting guests on the podcast recently, like not just YouTube guests. And the question has genuinely ar- arisen, arose. I don't. How do you say that? Arose. Uh, ar- I love your nails, by the way, James. I don't know if I mentioned that. Thank you. I like them as well. I did. I did them on Arya's stream, and then ever since, I've just kind of owned it, and now it's officially yeah, cool. part of me. I can't stop because it, it stops me from biting my nails yeah, as well. Yeah, that tastes very good. But yeah, like the question is, do we ask? Like guests that aren't YouTubers that aren't in on the kind of the meme the meme shit, what Harry Potter character they'd fuck? No, do we stick no, we with fuck, it? No, we fucking don't, mate. I feel I like we feel do. I feel like we do. Like, I, reckon, podcast, I reckon we I, stick I, to I, our. We guns. do this podcast, and I hope no one sees it. I don't want to have this conversation <laughs> in front of someone else, right? I don't want. I don't want actually. The thought of someone watching us talk about this it, it ruins me. 
to, to, to have it with another person. It's my favourite bit. I oh, love that. Watch this. For that for that very reason, I'm gonna make sure I ask oh. the question every guest we have. Let's let's try and get like someone really respectable like Louis Faroux on. And just be like, Louis, what Harry Potter character that isn't human would you fuck? Well, this is the thing. You, the people you would never expect that answer from, I feel like are the most interesting guests we might have. So yeah. I, I feel like it's almost worth asking them that question. Would they go down the Moaning Myrtle route, you know? No, I think they'd leave. Would they go down on the Basilisk? There, there must be, if you total all of the fucking watch time we've talked about fucking Harry Potter characters, there must be a full episode in it. Must be oh, well, I'd say two. There's probably a court case in it, but there's definitely a full fucking episode. No, next time we take a week off, we'll just upload the Harry Potter the special. Is, is, just... <laughs> we won't get any guests on because of Marriott's tweet last week. Do you remember that tweet me and you co came up with with our, with our great minds in Cole? Oh, what was it? I can't remember what tweet. it was now. <laughs> we, oh yeah. We were sat in call and this is what we do in our spare time for everyone to know. And we were just um <laughs> acted out a scene where if instead of him saying uh Diagon Alley, he went dogging alley and we were like 15 minutes <laughs> and uh, we tweeted it out and it didn't do very well, did it, James? It was such a stinker of a tweet, and I was crying, crying, laughing whilst I tweeted it because I think it's just. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. The we, thing must is... be, we must be the weirdest fucking YouTube group on the whole platform. We must no, be the weirdest one down here, Harry. I think it's very. <laughs> I think it's very. <laughs> 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 this is full of unsavory folk. <laughs> Why were you down there, Hagrid? <laughs> I was, um, getting slug repellent. Yeah, sure, Hagrid. You're in the dogging alley, and we all know it. <laughs> <laughs> I think, in a way, a, <laughs> continuing, continuing on from that, I don't think we're particularly weird. I just think we talk about the things that everyone else wants to talk about. It's only us. We're the fucking delinquents of this fucking it's, platform. It's brilliant. We're the music fucking block kids. Right? We're the, we are. Oh, we, yeah, man. we're the kids who sit in the corner at lunch. It's us poking in. Oh. Do you think the side men talk about this often? You think who? Sorry, the they side men. would never allow this. You know that if one of one of them brought it up, all seven of them would just go, "Okay, moving on," and they just pretend it never happened. There are, there's more than seven of them, aren't there? I, mean, and I, I don't know if I could argue with that. I think, I think we've let it get too far. Yeah, they like it would be one of those things where that would be stamped out. The, the moment anybody brought up anything close to that, it'd be stamped out instantly. Whereas here, it thrives. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas we <laughs> fucking podcaster owners. <laughs> that's the difference between us and them. They, <laughs> they, they just keep it. They keep it cool, cool collected, and we just we we just do all right. this. I'm taking this onwards. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fucking I'm going to switch this. up the topic yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, George, is, George is going to do it. If you had to fuck a Star Wars character that wasn't a human, right. what one would you um, fuck? Greedo. Greedo. I was going to say. Greedo. <laughs> Greedo's, got, Greedo's got that, like, tube mouth. He's got that, like... <laughs> well, no, because Greedo... If, if Greedo comes first, there'll be a scandal. <laughs> Who came first? <laughs> yeah, who came oh, mate. <laughs> I'm going to say, the blue, you know the blue the J blue Jedi? The uh, I think, you know the... I, I, Ayala Secura. Yeah. She's Is that buff. Ahsoka? Ahsoka? Oh, no, Ahsoka's a clown in Hunter. Sorry. No, she's buff. I'd, 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 uh, Ryla. Ayala Secura. Um, wow. She dies at the end. So. Oh, oh no. thanks for that. Revenge of the Sith came out in 2003, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> true. Hurry up. Very true. Ka what about Kaiadi Mundi? Kaiadi Mundi would give good brain. What about <laughs> Darth Maul? Like, he's quite acrobatic. No, because when he's sucking you off, his horns might go into your fucking head and chest. Oh, yeah. And also, when, when, he, when he had his legs cut off, you could just pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Will. <laughs> Where's he, where, where's he I gone? I think Alex is done as well. So, uh, I've got another topic. Is coffee bean water? I don't like coffee. <laughs> I love coffee. I'm a big fan. If you had to fuck a coffee, what coffee would you fuck? <laughs> no, let's go. Let's... Cap no, cappuccino would be like fluff fluffiest, right? <laughs> oh, God. 
Yeah. Or I go no, I go for a frappuccino because you got a bit more creaminess to it, you know. That'd be no, 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 no. That'd be cold. That'd be cold on your cock. That'd be cold on your cock. Yeah. You'd get like cold burns. If you had to fuck a coffee shop or fast food mascot, what one would you fuck? <laughs> so the Starbucks is a woman. Is there any other women one? Uh, Wendy's. I would, I would go for the Michelin Man. I mean, I know he's a tire company. <laughs> oh, we we'll just put it in the rolls, didn't it? That's you could so just fast. fucking fuck I mean, fuck his rolls. You could just push it. You could just push it over to the area of tires. You could just push him over and just roll him away. <laughs> I, I go for uh, the Hamburglar role play. <laughs> Hamburglar. <laughs> yeah, you broken into the wrong house. Sorry, I got dark. <laughs> I go for the Kool Aid man. Yeah, he come for you. Where would you put it? Uh, He's got big chunks. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. <laughs> How many people do you think are still listening? <laughs> I feel like I'm some delusional. <laughs> I... <laughs> That's gonna be like the fifth shit joke I've made this podcast. I want the I want the ground to swallow me up. Me fucking too. So Mike Dean's mm. cancelled. Fucking hell. Oh fuck so, off. You If you had to fuck a Premier Mike League referee, no, shut what up, was? George, George, <laughs> George, shut referee. up! Oh man. Uh, what, what's uh, what's Mike Dean done? Fucked somebody else we, over. We can't go. We can't go from that to Mike Dean. We can. All right, we can. What, 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 what's the opinions on Mike Dean this week, boys? What do you think of that fucking red card? Oh, it was disgraceful, to be honest. I don't care. There's no way, there's no way anyone who sat through that segment, right, cares about the Premier League. There's no way anyone sat for 10 minutes out fucking Star Wars character, watches football, bro. It, 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 it. It's like the reverse of the kick. If they did this on a kickoff, it wouldn't, it wouldn't fucking fly at all. Could you imagine the comments on the kickoff? Mm-hmm. If you had a fucking kickoff member, though, <laughs> why would it be oh, Lawrence? Rory. Or maybe Rory. Rory. It would be Rory. Right, no. Rory right. would treat. Would he would treat you to a meal? You know what I mean? Yeah, and a good one as well. Yeah, the jackal. The <laughs> jackal. <laughs> <laughs> That's our spin-off version. <laughs> Can we rename the E-Boys podcast to the jackal? <laughs> it would have been a great name, to be fair. You know, like a subtitle. Have you got a beer? Oh, uh, yeah, fucking need it all. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going to have a cider then. Man. I can't blame you. I got my sake bottle. I'll have some sake. Uh, actually, on a serious note, I mean, it's not a very serious topic. Um, have you guys on, seen... Then. What's my um, serious topic? <laughs> it's, it's not a good serious topic. Um, the sea shanty men. You know the, the men in um, in that picture? There's that famous picture of those guys in jeans. I think they're known as the guys in jeans. Wait, yeah. What? yeah. How, wait, sea shanty men? They're not sea shanty men. They're not the sea no, shanty they're men. The they're sea, the four lads in jeans, Alex. That, that's people took that picture. Checky people buns. took that picture and um, did that face more thing to make it make them sing the sea shanty. Yeah. Anyway, um, oh. anyway. They're getting a Netflix documentary. Oh, I knew this because I've been watching my memeulous yeah. videos. Yeah. Oh, I've well done, done Will. Nice. You. Gold star for me. Plus five for me. So, do you want to do you want to take the floor of that one? Me? Yeah. Go on. All he, all he said was, oh, apparently they're getting a Netflix show. Like, yeah, they're just getting they're a Netflix show. They just said that. They just said it on a TikTok. Yeah, really, it's much more. Well, that's great, because that's that's actually as far as my knowledge extends as well, to be honest. <laughs> that is literally as far as my knowledge extends. They, I don't know. I think that's all I think that's all that everyone knows at this point. I think I don't think it goes beyond that. I don't know what the fuck it's going to involve. <laughs> yeah, what do, you, what do you reckon it's going to be about? But is it just me? Hang on, I've got to say something. Is it just me that knew exactly how they sounded... Before I even heard them speak. Uh, yeah. You can, can tell, back can't that. you? I can back that. Yeah. You can look at them. Mm. I've not seen a video of them speaking. What do they sound like? Oh, oh my God. God. Right. They don't sound like that. Nice. They just sound like, uh, they're from like Birmingham. So they sound like Birmingham people. Yeah. I saw one of them take their shirt off on TikTok the other day. And it was quite impressive. Oh, of course you fucking did. It just happens <laughs> on there. <laughs> Fucking why, why? Where did you find that? A uh, few pages. Just I don't know why. It's tailored to me. I'd love to see the differences between all our. I think your for you page says a lot about you as a person. Like, I think it really represents. Did you see what I what I say in the group chat today? That's what my Let for you page look. looks like. The one, the, the video <laughs> of Theodore jumping off a building. Aria, Aria, for some reason has loads of Roblox fan cams. I get like, those. Like, I think she has no idea what. Yeah, I get them. 
they're just like like Fortnite people dance, uh, like uh, Roblox characters just dancing. And she always skips past them. She makes a point of it. But now because she's shown them to people and shared yeah. them to people, like here's another one. Why do I keep They're playing like, these? Let's serve it up again. Yeah, she clearly exactly. wants more. Like she's Fucking... interacting with them now. So it's yeah. like. My oh. new favorite thing at the moment is all those TikToks of like the TED Talk Instagram filter. That they <laughs> yeah. are so good. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. delete. Oh, they're fucking really brilliant. Um, yeah, a TikTok. I, we've we say it, I'm wearing the hat just because I didn't. I haven't fucking been able to shower today because I still haven't fixed my shower. All the water's in George's room, on the floor. Just like lick each other clean like cats do. Yeah, we should do that mm. to be honest. Should we should we pretend to be a normal podcast for five minutes? Ten yeah, minutes. Right. I've got some other stuff lined up. Yeah, I'm just going to talk about Dream Song. In do you like Dream Song? Any of you heard Dream Song? I've heard it. It's pretty good. I was I quite liked it. I quite liked it. He did tweet like a month ago. The only way I could get more followers is by making music, <laughs> and he's probably not wrong. <laughs> what else can that man? Yeah, I, got left. What are the only the, I I saw because like Anthony Fantano made a review on it as well, and it was very brutal as you'd song. expect from Anthony Fantano. Mm-hmm. I yeah what yeah. Did I, I, what did he give it? What did he give it? He didn't write it. Oh okay. Ooh. It was a song review, so I think I think he only rates albums. I, I don't think he rates individual songs. On track right. review, right. Anyway. you should have known that. Right, really, you should have known that. Sorry, sorry, boys. Sorry, I'd like to formally apologise to everyone at home. The issue is, is like being someone who's now released music. The first song you do is always going to be the most simple. So I don't think it ever is ever going to say much about like the artist that he is or the music that he's going to release because it's a lot easier to release something a bit more simple when it's your first song because you're not going to get as much criticism for putting yourself out there as much if that makes sense. So I, I feel like you, you can't really judge him off of one song. It's like you're going to see what he's doing over the next one if he does more, which I hope he does. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I that's my opinion. A good right. place to start. And it's cool to seeing people do do different yeah. things. Um, yeah, they're pretty neat. The lyric video did look like a stock image, though. Yeah. Like it looked like a. Oh, like, it, did, like, it did swishy things. I, I liked yeah. some of the effects. I liked some of the after effects. Yeah, I yeah. The song. The song. Uh, it's good. Oh, oh, I, I've got a confession. I'm actually starting to find Jake Paul a bit likable. Wow, what's he done? Really? I uh, there's there's have you have you seen the video he sent to um the the Floyd Mayweather one? No. It's it's like a remix. Uh, well, actually, hang on. Let me start off with the best one. Have you seen the video Fifty Cent Floyd Mayweather? Yes, sent Floyd Floyd Mayweather years ago. Yes. No. In, oh, okay, this is fucking elite. Hang on, let me let me share my screen. Uh, he's an entertaining guy uh, I mean I remember back in the day like 2018 I used to unironically watch his videos I used to find them fascinating I never found I preferred Logan I liked both of them but I found both of them fascinating yeah Logan's fucking diss track was pretty good alright so hang on if you, what, the ice bucket chat you know how Floyd okay so context is Floyd Mayweather is pretty much illiterate, illiterate. Yeah. you watching I'm in yeah. this is a special <laughs> A-S-L-E-L-S challenge for you floyd if you can read one full page of a harry potter book <laughs> nigga i'll give seven hundred fifty thousand to whatever charitable organization you want to fuck the buck guys man. that video is so good i'll go off for my man jimmy kimmel jimmy said if floyd accepts the challenge then he'll put it on the actual show so you can read it on the show we don't want to put pressure on you we know you can't pronounce those words in that harry potter book so we're gonna let you read real question is right <laughs> harry potter character with floyd mayweather oh fuck no him. No, oh, no, mm. we're doing a normal podcast for five minutes. We signed an agreement. We all okay. have to be normal okay. for five minutes. Yeah, okay. So, and then Jake Paul's, uh, he's obviously, because Floyd Mayweather was going on about him on Instagram this week, being like, I'll fight Jake after I fight Logan. So Jake then uploaded this, which I've got to be honest, I quite enjoyed. Uh, you see it? Because yeah. when you're in, I'll sign it. Okay, uh, three, two, one. Dear Mr. Mayweather, who runs your Instagram? <laughs> they need to get paid better. Do us a favor and stay off of social media. You should focus on learning to read, retirement, or maybe an encyclopedia. You call me out to fight, but you're half my height. You might beat my brother, but Jake Paul is a different type. Fuck your proposition. I don't do exhibitions. We can fight on my conditions. 50-50 commissions. Oh, and we haven't forgotten you tried training Nate to beat me. I left him unconscious on the canvas. Let's hope you're not that easy. A quick NBA knockout. He's never boxing it's again. Really calming. Speaking of NBA, who knocked up your daughter, my friend? 
After I KO Askren on Triller April 17th, I would Triller. love to fight you, Floyd, and punch you in those fake veneer-ass teeth. I quite enjoyed it. He's quite, a poet. I'm finding him entertaining. He sounds, he's, he's insufferable. But that was quite a calming video. Yeah, you should do SMR, Jake. I'd, I'd watch it. Yeah, that's like the polar opposite of a Jake Paul cool. video. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not that's not much of an achievement, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is the polar opposite of a Jake Paul video, isn't it? To do a <laughs> sat by the fire reading a book. Jake, Jake Paul's reading corner. I know that exact YouTube live stream as well. If that fuck, I don't know if it's a live stream, but like 10 hour pretend fireplace. I've had it on before. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, everybody's used to that. How about them? Anyone who has a TV in their setup and makes YouTube videos has most definitely had the exactly. fire on in the background it's at like, some point. It's mm. almost like a rite of passage if you've got a TV in the background, but you have to put it on at some point. I've never, I've never done it. You've never done it. Well, George, come on, George. You, you'd, be now, worried, on. you'd be worried about getting DMCA'd, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's just... <laughs> Yeah, the man, the the, DMs, the, fire, the man who owns that fireplace <laughs> going around. But imagine how much money that man's owed. The man who owns that fireplace going around copyright claiming people's <laughs> videos. I don't know if it's a real one. I think they might have just... It's a digitally enhanced anyway, fireplace. Anyway. <laughs> Um, all right, boys. This week, Chrissy Teigen. You know, we, we all keep up with our I've Chrissy Teigen tweets. I've seen this. She likes one of my tweets once. Which Did one? She? Who's this? Who's Chrissy Teigen? And she replies saying, Cor, you're a massive stud, George. If I wasn't with um, John Lennon, I would... Uh, <laughs> John Lennon! John Lennon! I would... John Lennon? John Legend! John Legend. John yeah, same thing. John Legend. <laughs> same thing. John, John Lennon. Lennon. Uh, speaking of John Lennon, you, have, you ever had, have, you, have you ever had Linda McCartney, like, the vegetarian food? Oh, They're great, God. aren't they? That is Paul McCartney's ex-wife. Yeah, I know. How nuts is that? She made that food. That's how I know. Love it, love I know. It. Yeah, what are you saying, Will? Just want to do a normal podcast. Wait, wait, yeah. that's a normal podcast. Sausages, mate. That's as normal as it gets on here. <laughs> so, some bullshit. Some bullshit. All right, boys. So she tweeted this week, what's the most expensive thing you've eaten? Oh, that you've bought that you thought... All right, expensive thing that you bought that you thought was going to be good that actually sucked. A Linda McCartney sausage <laughs> that my, uh, my husband's mate made. Your mum for an hour. Oh. <laughs> uh, what, what? I bought I bought an OP one from Teenage Engineering and I've used it about seven times. Uh, and that a what? What's an OP one? You made Hesky time on it. It's a synth and it. OP one can open. Yeah, OP one You were the one who was calling everyone else out for a second. Uh, no, it's and it's I believe it costs a grand and I've I've used it a handful of times. Because it's hard to learn. It's really hard to learn. I bought an iPad. Oh, I don't really it, use it that much. What, what you, what? I use it in bed today. I use it. To, <laughs> All right, you don't need to tell me about that. No, I naughty naughty. I'm, I've um, <laughs> I just you just you. I was just lying in bed chilling. Yeah, it. Come on, mate. He's got his it's got his homemade. Yeah, you're it, a hole it's got there, a homemade mate. screen protector on it. <laughs> it's like uh, one of those visors. <laughs> uh, I can tell you what mine is. Mine is literally this Cloud City Lego set because I've had it for like about a month now and I've just not finished it and this is worth probably about 900 quid. Odds on lobbing it at the wall. No. Just you lobbing it at the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's give them a payoff for I'll, this I'll podcast. It'll be the best I'll one ever. How about he does it if you, you do an odds on for you bending you your cards? Because uh, they're Fett. worth... That Boba Fett is Boba worth like 400 quid. I'll, I'll bend the card if he eats it at the wall. I'm not... Mate, I'm not... I, no, because then we're just being cunts, right? Then we're just destroying things and being cunts. Yeah, and I really like it as yeah. well. I'll kill my cat. I'll kill my cat as well. If I go, I'll go take a knife to Otto. Right, no, no, let's not risk that much money. Come on. I'll kill Alex. <laughs> kill me. Wait, how much yeah. do you reckon it'd be, it would cost to, like, take one of us off? Isn't it 10 grand for a hit? When I found out. I mean, I'm sure there's many people willing yeah, to free. do it to you, uh, but, mate. But, but, I don't think yeah, it would yeah, cost would have, not have much money. You <laughs> given the address, they do it. <laughs> Just give out the signal, I to fucking. <laughs> the beacons are lit. Oh man! Has anyone got any other topics? I had is is coffee bean water, but I don't think that's. You've you've tried it. You've tried it before. And it didn't uh, stick. Stop trying right, to cool. make fucking bean water stick. Right? Sorry. Give up. <laughs> Sorry. Give up with your fucking bean water. Oh Sorry. oh, hang on. Sorry, I've got another video to show you. Sorry, I know you'd be sick of us by now. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Um. 
Hang on, hang on. G- give me a second. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to order a curry because I haven't eaten in a day and a half. No, no, g- g- <laughs> give, give podcast content okay. for a minute. No, 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 um, for sure. Like, like... Uh, I'm ordering a butter chicken with two poppadom. No, they don't care about it. No, what's available? Oh, did you see that there's a place on Deliveroo local to uh, all of us that's literally the, the chicken shop from Breaking Bad? Yes! yes! Los Polos Hermanos! Los Polos Hermanos! I was amazed when I saw that. But I am. They just nabbed it. And have you seen the. Oh, to God. order from there. Yeah. No, no, no. no. I've seen also... the hygiene rating. It's not worth it. I'll oh, trust, trust me. They've taken all of KFC's pictures and just edit their lo- Photoshop their logo on top have of it. Have they actually? It's Hang, is this on Uber Eats? Uh, Deliveroo. And it's just, they just put their thing over it. I was in tears. Fucking elite. Anyway, it's anyway, so anyway. Um, so, talking about. Uh, this is a bit of a loose link. Fast food and what it does to you. Have you seen this clip of the presenter on British TV? It was about like um, like a fat people program. Yeah, I have seen Oh this. my God, yes. I love Action. those clips. Oh, oh, oh. I remember this show. What the fuck? George, if you just want to, if you want to order your food and give us a shout when you're done. Uh, hang on. There we no go. Rush, I've, ordered, no I've ordered my scran. It'll be here in All about good. 25 minutes. One sec. Uh, there we go. I'm on. Okay. Jimbo. I'm in. All right, yeah, listen, listen to how fucking full on this is. I can't believe they got away with this. I'm in Telford, Shropshire, and I'm about to meet one of the fattest families I've met in my life. This trundling trio are grazing their way to an early grave. Watch out, <laughs> massive fatties. The lard police are in town. <laughs> what? How does he have this many different can we, terms? Can we do an e-boys version <laughs> of this? <laughs> Fuck no. me. We get cancelled quick time. That just would not run. British TV is so strange, some of the stuff that, like... So much just used to run in the UK, though. It's it's not surprising. Have you seen that show that's also, like, clips of it have been going viral? I think it's called, like, The the Something. Where, I can't remember what it's called. It's the like something, the yeah, that narrows it down. No, James no, 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 no. I fucking love The Something. And it basically, like, it's it's like a, a room that people go into in public. It's like in a shopping centre or something. And then this AI basically calls you ugly. And, oh, and I've seen make- that, Yes. The makeover one, yeah? yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, how brutal it is to the people that are on it and just says, they, like, oh, no one wants to shag you. You are ugly. And, fucked. like, picks at their fucking well, floors. That's true. They did pull in some wrong ones, man. They did pull yeah, in they, some No, ones. they did, in fairness. Like, early 2000s British TV was, like, peak. Oh, mate, it was, like, so good. Just the stuff that, like, people used to get away with. It is, it is horrific. It's absolutely horrific. Yeah. Um, did you see Big Nick did an interview of H3H3 about what it was, why he left the vlog squad? What happened? It was really interesting. He basically was, like, talking about how, um, he got bullied all the time for the vlogs. And uh, it was, like, not a preconceived joke. They just started doing that. And then it just, like, became a thing. And then, yeah, like, like, what, like what we all have here. <laughs> um, but basically, he, like, said to David, apparently, this is his word as well. He was basically, like oh, can we not do that anymore? And David went, yeah, I just don't really see any point you've been in the videos anymore then. <laughs> and he never <laughs> spoke to him again, apparently. Um, and he was being really wow. nice as well. Like, you could tell he's tried so hard to not, like, be mean. But I was watching that, and I just thought that was, like, so fascinating. Um, because, you, I mean, with those vlogs, I, it's hard to draw, draw a line, though, because I suppose he's... It, at what point... When you're vlogging everything, is everything your job? Because then surely the time that he spends with people has to be purely for content. I doubt David Dobrik hangs out with people very often, actually. And then it's also like, I can kind of imagine how you'd be in that persp- like in that mindset as a creator as well. If your entire life is your content and someone essentially comes around and tells you to change, it's like it's like they're trying to change your content, yeah, not change like you as a person. Also, I don't think I'd want to hang around with Big Nick. He's nice. He's a nice guy. Like if you were getting a video about, I get the, I get the mentality really. Yeah, I think the point was obviously that he was, I, I, he was friends with him for ages, um, and then yeah, just kind of dropped him. Did our podcast about it, which I, I, I thought was odd because he didn't like the fact that people were saying that he like got kicked out of the vlog squad or whatever. But there is no vlog, so it's not like he's really missing out on anything at the moment. To be honest, uh, poor bugger. What is David? We've discussed this before, but what is David Dobrik going to do when he comes back? He's got to like, he's got to blow up the moon, really. He's got to do a prank where he blows up the moon and he films it and he does his laugh afterwards, and that's got to be it, really. They can't be. It's got to. It's got too far. I don't know. I, I reckon he can just go back into doing what he normally does because that's what everyone loves. 
I reckon he can just do that. I don't think he needs to come up with some massive extravaganza. I think he'll be all right. Oh, nah. Man. Wait, wait, bro, he, he's just a massive extravaganza every fucking video. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't need to, but because because he does that, that's his mindset for every video. For a special video, he'll be thinking, fuck me, it's got to be huge. 100%. Yeah. It's like an E-Boys video, isn't it? Oh, the e boys video we've got. Absolutely, absolutely. Come back with a fucking reaction. Yes, that's us. To your yeah. screen. We were working for a month on it. George, did you you were going to say one, weren't you? Uh, oh, no. I, I, I was all just right. going to say we could shout out our shorts channels. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. We've all got one now, don't we? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no one's no, here, though. I, I don't right, tell, okay, don't tell anyone about here, mine. You're re you're, all right, okay. If you're still here, right, you're really committed to the e-boys, so we just let you let you know that me, Alex, and George have started shorts channels that you can follow. I take it back, to. and me as well, and, please. Uh, so that's please me as well. Us. That's been it from us to today. And we me. Hope you've enjoyed the e-boys podcast. Goodbye, Bye, rate it five stars, and I need and them. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Please.